Storm Shield weather, certified most accurate. And here everyone, we're looking ahead to Halloween and trick or treating and it does look like with all the data that's been coming in all week and I thought this initially that Saturday night would be dry and it looks that way. Just some scattered spooky clouds, 56 degrees by Saturday at 7 p.m. So that's certainly good news. Union High School want to show you this time lapse here because it tells a little bit of the story tonight as some high clouds will come drifting in here as we head into the evening hours and those high clouds could keep some of us from not dropping down into those frosty levels. You can see some of those just kind of streaming in here, so they just act like a little bit of a blanket. But right now we're mainly clear, kind of a moonlit night from the downtown camera. 58 degrees with a southwest wind right now that's very light. In fact, at this moment, it is calm. As we take a look at our forecast headed through the overnight hours, the clouds will be here, will be cool with fairly steady temperatures, only dropping to about 48 to 46 degrees. A cool breeze tomorrow morning at 9 a.m. And you can see the clouds moving in here from the southwest. There's the storm. It's just developing right now. This is the weekend storm. It'll dig into a storm by tomorrow and then start to move toward green country when we make our way into Friday. So you'll notice that Friday in Bartlesville, Tulsa, Muskogee, McAllister, the rain chances are already showing up in the morning. They're up to a 90% chance by the afternoon and then stay in that 70 to 80% chance range all the way through Friday night. So this is what it looks like on radar. So imagine this is a future radar and you'll see the rain spreading in here by the morning hours. Some heavy rain possible, maybe a few rumbles of thunder. We're hoping that it weakens by, say, 7 o'clock or 8 o'clock Friday night, and it would just be a rain and we wouldn't have any lightning delays for high school football. It's raining Saturday morning for the Tulsa run, but notice what happens. It moves out by the afternoon and by 7 p.m. The skies are clear here, and that is certainly good news. It's also good news for Buhaha Brookside. Likely raining for the pancake breakfast, but by trick or treating time at noon, it's just cloudy. And then we see some sunshine for the 3 p.m. parade. If you're headed to Dallas for TU and SMU, 73 degrees, a breezy, cool uh, day down there, but it looks pretty good for football. All right, so tonight, 42 in Bartlesville, maybe 39 at Pahuska with partly cloudy skies. We may be down to 38 at Tahlequah. That's one of the cooler spots already tonight. 47 at Henrietta and 46 at McAllister. And then tomorrow, we'll look for a nice day. 46, a chilly start to the day with northwest winds around 10 miles an hour. Noontime temperature of 56, a cool blend of sun and clouds. And 63 tomorrow afternoon, the average high is 69. We'll see highs a little cooler up to the north. Bartlesville around 63, Pawhuska 61. Mid zone 67 at Muskogee, 66 Okmulgee in our southern zones. Maybe a couple 70s, especially down toward Poto where it could be 72 degrees. Here's the seven day forecast as we look ahead to Friday. That 90% chance of rain high of 60, 65 on Saturday, 60% chance of rain in the morning, then 72 on Sunday, Monday, Tuesday. Great weather before another storm system heads our way next Wednesday. And don't forget Saturday night to turn your clocks back one hour. All right, Todd, that is the season, isn't it? It is. All right, thanks, Brett.